Hey guys, it's Jake here at Canadian Cutting Edge. And some of you have been asking, how do I find out what the grind angle of the cutting edge from the factory is? Well, I just need a couple tools. I need my sharpening system. I need a digital angle finder. And I need a marker. First thing that I do is I take my marker and you can see how, you know, the cutting edge, it's all silver. In this knife we've got it's a black coated blade so it's easy to see that line and we just coat it with some ink from a sharpie I've done it to the other side already that's step one step two is you mount it on the sharpening system just like I would if I was going to be sharpening the knife I take a very high grind stone so this is really flat this is over a thousand grit and what I do is just like I find the angle for when I want to sharpen the knife I do a sort of reverse version of that to find this angle so the first thing I do is I adjust it to approximate the uh, angle that I think it is and, and you know the way I can do that is I take my angle finder put it on this flat spot and uh, zero it out so on that flat spot at zero and if I put it down on here and I measure that angle now now I'm measuring the angle down onto the uh, knife that's at 19.3 degrees okay so I slide the stone over the cutting edge and I take a close look at what it did there and this one wipe I'm gonna have to take it off now and I'm gonna go take a picture of it with my um, USB microscope but basically what I can tell you happened is and I've got to mark exactly where I've lined this up on here so I put it back the exact same way next time is it took a little bit off of the very cutting edge but wasn't quite flat so this one is at a less of an angle than that but I'll take a picture of what that looks like and then I'll show you a picture of what it looks like when it's proper so I know it's less of an angle than that, so I need to bring this down a bit. So now it's on less of an angle, and I wipe the stone across the edge again. And I take a look, and I see that that's better, but it's still not quite right. So I've got to go, let me double check that. Actually, that's very good, I was wrong. It's a lot better. That has wiped away all of the ink. And now to double check it, I'll redo it. Because uh, I did that after it was already half wiped away. So, whoops, hit the camera. So this will tell me if uh, I'm still wiping off right at the cutting edge or if I'm only wiping off on the shoulder. Yep, that's even all the way across. Now, if I took my coating of my ink and did it all the way across, it's not going to be the same everywhere because the angle changes slightly all over the place. So what I do is I measure at a spot about an inch from the sharpener's toil at a spot right there. So here's my sharpener's toil and about an inch up on average. We cut with that spot the most, and that's why I use that spot to measure from. And once I've got that uh, even, where this is wiping all the uh, where this is wiping all the ink off that spot, then I know that I've got the angle matched right. And then I want to measure the angle, so I put it back on there. And we are at 17.9 degrees. So the, yeah, you can see that on there. And just to verify again, if I go put it back here, it should go to zero. There you go, it's zero. So this angle on this side is 17.9 degrees. And then I go and I do the exact same thing on the other side, 17.8, 17.9. And I do the exact same thing over here. And the angle is invariably different. On this side, it's steeper, so I gotta go higher. 
And that's as simple as it is. That's all that it takes to measure the angle. Uh, you, I could have done this on my, um, my hapstone sharpening systems. Anything where you've got a stable way to find an angle. I don't trust this angle finder up here. Oh, let me turn this camera. I don't trust this angle finder right here uh, because you know this pin could move easily. It could be changed there. This whole thing could bend up and down. So I totally ignore this and I always use a proper angle finder, digital one. So thanks for watching, thanks for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing, and remember guys, always cut towards your chum, not your thumb.